Alright, hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of Icewind Dale. Um, I've never played a game like this. I've bought it on Steam because I've always heard that this was a great role-playing game. I do love the role-playing games, but I never really got into like Dungeons and & Dragons, and I think this takes a big, uh, you know, a big, big impact on what it is and how it was designed based on the whole Dungeons & Dragons. So it's really, really deep. Um, kind of gameplay mechanics. I mean, you got the whole like 1d6 and 1d10 and all those different kind of dice rolls and uh, saving rolls and stuff like that in this game, I do believe. Um, I, like I say, I've never played any game like this. The deepest role-playing game I think I ever played was Bard's Tale back in the 90s. I played it on like an old 386 computer that my roommate had in the Navy. And I mean, it was popular in I think the 80s and I played it in the 90s on a on a PC, and I got pretty damn addicted to uh, Bard's Tale. I think it was Bard's Tale 1. But that game, you know, you had a party of adventures and stuff like that, but I still remember going to the gods or something like that whenever you died and you had to pay out a ton of money to resurrect them. <laughs> but I don't think that game was anything as deep as what this game is. So I got this. This is the enhanced version. Uh, available on Steam, $19.99 US dollars. I'm going to check it out, give you guys some gameplay footage. I'll probably only record this or put it up in 700, 720p. I don't think this game is going to warrant. It's a really old game, so I don't think it's going to warrant, you know, 1080p resolution. But 720p is still high definition. I have turned the sound uh, mechanics down quite a bit. Let's go ahead and voice, sound effects, music volume. And I can't turn it down anymore. It turns it completely off. So we'll go ahead and call that good. I want to go ahead and go back in here and let's see here. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what, what's going on. They say that history is the greatest of all teachers. And the tales of past deeds define who we are in the present and what we shall be in the future. I guess it's it supposed to be a black screen. shall, with each telling, Illuminate us all with the light of truth. I shall tell you of such a tale. There we go. It is a tale quite familiar to me, for I have spent nearly a lifetime piecing it together and chronicling it here within this book. For years I have pondered its passages, studying every line, committing each word to memory. Perhaps now, in the telling of it, I shall at last find the answers I seek. Very Our cool. story takes place <coughs> in the northern region of Faerun, known as Icewind Dale. It is a harsh, frozen land, cut off from the rest of the world by a wall of jagged peaks called the Spine of the World. For centuries, the icy plains of the Dale have been home to the barbarian peoples of the Uthgard and Regedmen. Huddled together in small, closely knit tribes, the barbarians lived simple lives, free, proud, and fiercely independent. Until the day an archmage named Erakar came to Icewind Dale. With an army of mercenaries, Erakon sought to conquer the north and force the fierce barbarians into slavery. Hell. Long weeks of battle followed, and the scattered barbarian tribes suffered terrible losses. Defeat seemed inevitable. In their darkest hour, a barbarian shaman named Gerald came forth and demanded a council between all the remaining tribes of the north. A respected warrior, Gerald persuaded the council to put aside their differences and unite against Erakon. Strengthened by a new sense of purpose, the barbarians rallied behind their new leader. The combined might of the Northmen proved more than a match for Arakan, who had counted on the division of the tribes. Wave after wave of barbarian warriors tore into Arakan's hired army, forcing them on the defensive and ultimately into full retreat. As his army crumbled around him, Erakon had time for one last desperate act 
before his enemies descended upon him. Drawing upon his remaining power, the Archmage breached the planar boundaries, tearing open a portal to the lower planes. The foolish Archmage's cries of victory immediately turned to shrieks of terror as the hideous and twisted shapes of demon kind materialized from the portal and poured onto the battlefield. Oh, wow. The sudden appearance of the demons drove the combatants, barbarian and mercenary alike, to turn to meet the new threat side by side. Uh -oh. The remaining warriors bravely charged the portal to drive the Hellspawn back and were slaughtered by the hundreds. Oh, wow. As his people fell around him, the barbarian shaman, Jared, looked up from the blood-drenched snow of the battlefield and caught sight of a lone figure high upon a ridge in the distance. Jared immediately recognized this vision as an omen from his god, Tempus. And in that instant, he knew what had to be done. Shouting cries to his god, he charged through the ranks of the demons and plunged into the portal. As Jared's blood fused with the energies of the portal, an explosion of white light engulfed the battlefield. When the light subsided, the demons were gone, and the portal was closed. In its place hovered a disk of solid stone. Frozen within the center of the disk was Jared's body, huh. locked in his final moment of agony, in his final moment of triumph for all eternity. But that is not the end of our tale. It is but the beginning. Wow. Pretty cool little story. All right, so we got single player. We got options, the same options we had before. Go back. Just to give you a quick look. Graphics, you don't have a lot of choices there on, like, screen resolution or anything. Full screen, hardware cursor, zoom lock. You know, it tells you what each one does. I'll go ahead and leave that back. Movies will show you any of the movies you've actually seen. Language. Choose any of these different languages here. Gameplay, gore, max HP on level up. Okay. So stuff like that, just so you can kind of see what the different options are. Go back here. And then you have how to play. I read just a little bit of this, but not real much. Uh, looks like it's pretty involved. You know, you can, can you have a party of characters in a single player uh, story it looks like and you could control each of them completely individually or you can like it looks like you can take control of the whole thing you can uh, do whatever you want go to a quest or whatever but you can also take control like change the order the formation of your group or put somebody else as a leader at any time looks like a pretty involved little game I mean the graphics are old school but if you're looking for a very deep and probably satisfying RPG, a role-playing game, then this might be right up your alley. If you've never played this like I haven't, uh, I already know that compared to most of the RPGs that I've played, you know, Skyrim kind of games or, you know, just the uh, Diablo style of games or whatever, this is going to be a way deeper experience, unlike something that I've really never experienced, so I'll probably get slaughtered and totally mess up but that's what my comments are for so I'm gonna go ahead and put this up and any of you guys that have played a game like this or played Icewind Dell you know give me suggestions give me feedback uh, if you would put that down in the comments let me know where I messed up what I need to do or you know how maybe I can play the game better whatever it is now the multiplayer server you can go in here and it looks like people can assign their own servers and you know most of these are gonna be password protected because they're just wanting their let their family or like this one guy could jump into but you know most of these are going to be password protected but quite a few people playing it looks like already and this game just came out yesterday I believe so we're going to go ahead and jump into the single player though and see if I can figure that out um, I haven't done anything this is my first moment my first play probably should play this game for 50 hours before doing a review but I want to show you guys while it's still new on Steam you know for maybe people like me I was looking for 
videos of this game, couldn't really find anything except just one minute clips of like the old game or something. So I want to show you guys, you know, what this game looks like, what's involved, what it offers, and, you know, give you guys also the opportunity to help me out, help me play the game. So here you can create a party, and it looks like it gives you a preset party, and if you don't like any of the characters, you want to create any of your own characters, you can do that. So here we have Chorus. If I wanted to delete him and make my own, I could just click there. The starting party is a well-balanced group that can eventually tackle all that Icewind Dale can throw at it. Press on a portrait to see the character statistics. Feel free to remove a character and create your own. So this guy is Gorus Male, Human Berserker, Chaotic Good is, a, is an alignment. Now I've never dealt with any kind of alignments whatsoever in any of the games that I've played. So I don't know what all these alignments are. I know there's like Good and Lawful and chaotic and chaotic evil and all this different stuff and I do know that reading it that if you didn't read the the basic rules that if you don't play a character's alignment correctly you know as they should whatever this you know means as far as their alignment what kind of actions they would typically take if you don't play that properly there can be consequences of some sort that the game will actually impact on that character so one question I have is I want to go ahead and see are all of my starting characters going to be chaotic good since this guy is and see no true neutral so that's going to be a completely different um, I'll think I think it means like personality in like what kind of choices that person makes I'm not real sure on that maybe you guys can correct me but my question here this is a fighter and a thief here we have a male cleric ranger so we'll have some healing I guess neutral good Inventory. I guess that's spells that he has. Okay. And this is a maid. She is chaotic neutral. Now, what the hell chaotic neutral means, I have no clue. Compared to chaotic, which I think this guy was chaotic good. Yeah. I have no idea what the difference between those two are. Or how I'm supposed to play them. So maybe you guys lawful good. This is a undead hunter. He's an undead. Uh, but a re human race, so he's an undead human that's a hunter, okay? And then a half-elf race, uh, Felicia, she's a bard, she's a true neutral. I have no freaking clue what these alignments mean or how I'm supposed to play them. So maybe you guys could give me some comments, let me know what these alignments mean, how I'm supposed to play them, what they all mean. And the one question I want an answer to, if you, one of you guys could help me, is would it be good, wouldn't it be wise to delete all these, make up my own uh, party of characters, and make them all exactly the same alignment? That way, um, you know, I'm always making the same kind of decisions no matter who the leader is. Or is it more beneficial to have a, uh, you know, difference here in your party between alignments? I would just think that if you have, you know, a lot of different alignments in your own party that you're going to have conflict between the different alignments. I don't know a whole lot about alignments, but what little I do know would tell me that you might have conflict between alignment, different kinds of alignments inside your own party. I have no idea though. But you guys let me know if it's advisable to delete all these guys and make like say all chaotic good or all chaotic evil or all neutral or whatever make them all pretty much the same I don't know so if you guys can comment somebody can comment down below and let me know that that would be greatly appreciated I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys as it is and just see what I can do I'll probably get wiped out and killed anyway so you know we're gonna go Our ahead and see what happens begins here in the quiet fishing village of East Haven one of the so-called ten towns of Icewind Dale ten towns and Icewind the tiny Dale. community is hardly a town but rather a collection of ramshackle huts crowded together upon the icy shores of Lac Dinashir. Okay. Here, within a dimly lit tavern, a group of travelers sit huddled around a table, swapping tales and making grand plans for the future, completely unaware of the part they are to play in the events that are about to unfold. Oh, okay, so I assume that's my group huddled around a, a table. Done. Oh, wow. What's this? New face in town, eh? 
Well met, stranger. The name is Rothgar, originally of Hillsfar. But now, after years of traveling up, down, and under Faerun, I am content to call this town my home. Who might you be? Hmm. Greetings, Rothgar. My name is Chorus. So I think my leading guy, the first one that was up here when I was looking at those guys, I think he was chaotic good or something. So I would think that I wouldn't want to say it's none of your concern. I would think I would want to say this. And that's probably what I'd choose anyway. This kind of seems like an a you know an a-hole-ish thing to say. Greetings, Hrothgar. My name is Gorus. Well then, welcome to East Haven. Whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. While you're in my town, you do well to be on your best behavior. Okay. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to do harm to them in any way shall answer to me. That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no better way to shake off the cold of the road than by downing a few mugs of Grisella's best. And if you're in need of lodging, I would recommend talking to Quimby over at the Snowdrift Inn over on the east side of town. Okay. Equipment and supplies can be purchased next door at Pomab's Emporium. Uh, Pomab's prices are a bit high, even for a Kalashite. But you'd be better off well equipped and short of coin than the other way around. <laughs> Ill prepared travelers don't last long in these parts. Okay. Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings, come by and see me at my house. It's just a couple doors west of here. All right. business I would discuss with you. So he, he wants us to go see him, but I want to do something, guys. I want to quit this game. Let's quit. Since we just went into single player anyway, went to new game. Accepted that party. Done. I want to answer this differently and see if it makes a difference in what he says. A spirited one, eh? I like that. Well, whatever your business in these parts might be, I would offer you this small piece of advice. Then it's just the same. These folk are under my protection, and anyone who would seek to... That said, I'll let you get back to your cups. I'm sure you've had a long journey, and you'll find there's no... Yep. And if you're in need of lodging, I... Equipment and supplies can be... Once you've had a chance to rest up and get your bearings... Okay, so it made a little bit of difference in how he responded. There's some business I would... Kakura detecting you. traps. Very well. Karika, I guess she's my thief or something. Is this Karika? Yes. Yep. Okay. May I help? Cadriel. How can I help? Right click shows you cleric ranger. They all have 680 gold. Is that right? 680 gold. So I need to take these guys to get somewhere and get. I didn't really pay attention to where he said, but. Get him some equipment. I'm sure we can find that. So, here's my party leader. Like, if I wanted her, I don't know why I would want a bar to be the party leader. She's probably a stay-in-the-back kind of character. But if I wanted her to be the leader, for example, I could just take her and move her up here. He moves down here, and she is now the leader of the group. That is cool. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and move him back, however. I may not make everyone happy, but I'll keep us alive. So that's pretty sweet. Alright, so to select... See, like, if I take him and I just move I him here, it's just going to be him by himself. But to select all of them, I would probably just... Here. Yep, there we go. And while I got them all circled, I can put them in a different formation. Look at that. What's this do? Oh, that's probably defensive or attack mode okay I don't really understand what that means but yeah I don't know what these mean but if I wanted to put them in a different formation I could and then if I move them oops I'm on it there we go so see how they're getting in a different formation they're in a t-shape now I could put them in this formation move them and they're gonna get they're all shuffling about. That is really cool, though. I mean, because different you might want different formations in different situations, I guess. All right, let's... Uh, I don't know if we should spend time talking to all these people or what, but... Grisilla. I'll talk to the bar person. Hello there, dearie. Welcome to the Winner's Cradle Tavern. My name's Grisilla. I want to operate this fine establishment. What can I get for you? I have some questions for you. Sorry, Jerry, I haven't had time to chit-chat with you. I have a tavern to run. You know, if you're looking to catch up a local gossip, I suggest you buy around or mingle with some of the other pot patrons. 
very well. Okay. So let's take him back over here. Looks like I still got the whole group selected. Let's get out of here. Yep, there we go. They're all moving. That's cool. All right. And it shows you why I have them all selected, it looks like, because I had, every one of them has a green border. As opposed to if I just select him, Cheaters. for example, now he's just got the green border. Okay. That makes sense. I'm listening. Let's go. Let's see what's up here. Does it have a sign here? Emporium. This is where I can buy some goods. Okay, cool. Alright. And sorry guys, I'm probably going to be doing this really, really slow, so um, stay patient with me. I've never played a game like this, so this is all new, and you know, if you want to help me out, please do so in the comments below. Agreed. Uh, okay. More barbarians come to my shop, no doubt, with nothing barter, but with wolf pellets and polish stones. Very well. Let's get this over with. What do you want? Barbarians? I think you're mistaken, friend. I'd watch your wag that you wag that tongue of your shopkeeper. All the snow hasn't put me in the best of moods. Right, I'd like to see what you have for sale. I'll just choose that one. And I would like to see some coin before I go into the trouble of showing you my wares. I have no patience for those who are just browsing. How cool is that? That, I mean, you don't just... You know, most of these RPGs where you go into a shop, you just click in and immediately the store inventory pops up. Now, some people may like that, but this is kind of cool. You actually got some dialogue here, and, you know, you actually have a grumpy uh, salesperson here in the shop, shopkeeper, that, you know, wants to see proof that you have some money before he even shows you what he's got available. I mean, I, I think that's pretty cool. I could get into a game like this. Looks like it could be kind of time-consuming, but... So he's like, I have no patience for people that are just browsing. I can say there's no need to be rude. I assure you I intend to buy. Now may I see your wares? Or I can say, look you toad, I have gold and I need supplies. Are you going to sell to me or not? Or I could say, maybe it would be easier if I cut your greedy little heart out and just take what I want. What do you think about that? Now I would think this might get us into a fight right here in the shop. I'm curious to see if I choose this, if that would get us in a fight, and you know, I don't know, probably not. It's probably just going to be dependent, you know, but if I say the wrong thing here, I may not get to buy anything at all. I'm just going to say the first one. How dare you speak to me in such a manner? Do you know who I am? Your pompous little man who runs a little shop in a little town at the arse of end of Faroon care who you are. I just want to buy something or no, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. I'll choose that one. <laughs> I'm pulling off a scumbitashore royal diplomatic envoy of Kalisman and I don't know, one of these words, guys, and appointed overseer of the northern caravan routes. I say, forgive me, your lordship, I had no idea. Sure, and I'm the king of Mithril Hall. That's <laughs> funny. Or I see your apprentice has a slowly as a lowly shopkeeper is just a clever disguise. Throw off any would-be assassins, am I right? Again, I'll just choose the safe one here. What looks to be the safe one. Your poor attempt at sarcasm is an obvious sign of your lowly birth. I'll have you know that I'm the third cousin of the Pasha himself, not to mention a royal courtier in good standing. So if you're such a good standing with Calison, then why... then what in the Nine Halls are you doing all the way up here at Icewind Dell? I'm thinking maybe your brain has been added handled by this cold weather. Cabin fever, perhaps? My apologies. I did not mean to offend. Whatever. Can I just buy something? I'll just say this one here. Yes, well, where I am from, one would normally have beaten you for such insolence. Be thankful I'm a merciful man. Now, what can I do for you? I'd like to see what you have for sale. There we go. So we finally got to see the items for sale. That was quite a bit of uh, interaction and dialogue, but now... I don't know if I need to select each one individually. Barn, okay, select that here. He has 680. They all have 680 gold, it looks like. And they're all going to need different things because this guy here is a... Uh, this is my Berserker, I think. Yeah, this is my Berserker. So he can probably wear chainmail and stuff, I would think. Let's get him a weapon first, though. Something nice. Two-handed sword. 
Sounds like something a berserker would wear, right? I could sell the quarter staff it gave me for one gold piece. I'll just hold on to that for now, though. Okay, so can I? Oops, I didn't buy that. Okay, so I can't just drag this stuff over. I need to, like, I can't put in a stuff, whole bunch of stuff in a shopping cart. I just got to buy things separately. I'd like to be able to put them all in a shopping cart so I can see how much everything costs together rather than wind up being, you know, money short on being able to buy something. But I think that a two-handed sword sounds like a pretty good idea for a berserker. A warhammer for only three gold pieces, though. Maybe he could use that. Now, is it going to give me, like, red for things that I can't use? Two-handed axe. Does it show the damage or anything on this stuff? 1d10 slashing. Speed factor 9. Requires 10 strength. Not usable by... But I could... Okay, so you actually have to look at this. It doesn't automatically... A lot of these games now will turn things that a character can't use red. But this one, you really have to look and make sure that you're you're doing it right. That might be the best thing to go with to start with. Let's see. That was a 1d10 and a speed factor of 9. I don't know if speed is... Like, the higher it is, the better. I would assume the lower it is, the better. But I'm not real sure. Let's look at that two-handed gold and see how good that is by comparison. See, this is just 1d10 as well. Speed factor 10. I don't know if that's a little bit slower or a little bit faster. Requires 14 strength. You know what? For this money, though, it looks like the Warhammer is going to be... Is that what I looked at? Oh, no, that wasn't it. What did I look at? Something that was pretty cheap. What was it? Oh, I already forgot. Halbert. I think that's what it was. Yeah, 1d10 piercing. Two-handed requires 13 strength, and I can use that. So let's go ahead and buy that halberd. And for now, I'll just buy the one. So I guess I'll have to go into the inventory to equip him with it. Let me get out of the store real quick here. Let me go in and look and see. See, they have no equipment at all, it looks like. Yeah. So, where is the halberd that I bought him? Wow. Interesting. Sorry, guys, anybody that's a little bit impatient with me, but I don't even know where the hell my halberd that I bought. I thought I bought it. No, I didn't even buy it because I still have 680 gold. Why didn't I buy it, dummy? Oh, come on. I want to... No, you got to wait to hear the little sign. Buy something. There we go. Alright, so where is the Halley? There we go. I said buy. Done. Oh, I think I hit escape before. Now I should have it. Let's go into his inventory. There we go. Alright. Okay. Cool. And so now, armor class 10. I need to buy him some armor. So let's get out of here again. Go back and talk to dude here again. Buy something. Should I just start with, like, cheap armor? Probably should. Studded leather armor. And this is just going to cover the chest, probably. Not usable by, but he can wear this. Okay. Let's get him some studded armor. You know, he's probably going to require a majority of the... It might be smart to pool all, all my money together. and Or I wonder if I can give him all the money and then buy him. Because he's going to be in the front, taking the, the most of the abuse, I would think. It might be smart to pool most of the money and spend 70% of the money on just him. I don't know. So maybe you guys could help me out with that as well. Um, buy that. So is that a whole set, including legs and everything? Looks like it is. I thought it was just the chest piece. Now I might need to buy him a helmet as well. Uh... It reinforces leather or metal. Protects against critical hits. 
This one's cooler looking though. You know what I'm gonna wear? This one's cool. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be here in the shop for a little bit here, I guess. So if you want to watch this video, you might want to fast forward a little bit if you want to, or kind of scroll through. I don't know. But because I've never done this with this kind of a game, this is pretty detailed. It may take me 15 minutes here to equip all my guys. So just so you know, if you're still watching this, you might want to fast forward a little bit. Uh, all right, so done. So I want to look at this guy now. I want to see what it looks like when I equip this. Oops. That's cool. 628 left. Okay. Go back. Let's go Your ahead. Command. Oops. Very well. Now I have Barn. He is a I don't even know what the hell he is. He's a cleric ranger. He can probably only wear like leather, maybe. Okay. Can he buy it? Maybe he can wear studded leather as well. Cleric bard. Yeah, he should be able to wear that. Can he wear hide? Hide armor is lower. Okay, I'm just going to buy him this as well then. Studded buy. And I'll give him this one. Buy. And he is a cleric. Cleric Ranger, so he needs a bow or something, probably. Okay. Oops. Okay, so it does make things that he can't wear red. Okay, so that's cool. The shop. I like that. That helps. So as a... <coughs> As a ranger, I don't know why he can't wear use these bows. That's interesting. Mainly because his first thing is a cleric, maybe. All right, well let's buy him a, I think a flail, one d six plus one crushing, two d four crushing, mace, d six, d six. Well, I think I'm going to buy here the... Two D four sounds good. Buy. Now, is this two-handed or one-handed? It's just one-handed, right? Yeah. So he could wear a shield, too. Done. All right, so go ahead and equip him before I forget with this junk that he's got. Okay, 566 left. Tell me, I best serve. He is a undead hunter, so he might be the one that wants to wear a bow here. Okay, so it will be done. Oh, I only have 566. Okay, so I only have 566 for the whole party. Okay, I thought each of them had 680 or whatever. So this is everybody's money together. That makes more sense. 5 him some studded leather as well. Buy him. Ooh. Plus two. Speed factor requires 12 strength.
he is what? He is a undead hunter, okay. I'm gonna buy him this. Probably spend a lot of money on his weapon. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, you gotta buy arrows too, or bolts. For a crossbow, it's gonna require uh, bolts. Crossbow fires a quarrel, also called a bolt. So you actually have to, and 40 of them are one gold piece, well, that's not bad. So, buy 40. Now, how do I buy more than one? I saw it once. Thought. Hmm. I thought I saw it once where you could buy more than one item. Okay, he's got plenty of ammo now. Let's go ahead and equip him with his stuff. I think I need to, oh, yep, I do got to put this stuff in here. That's cool. All right. If I have money, I'll go back and buy him another quiver full of bolts. Just because I know they'll probably run out quick. But I need, to, here. I need to get these ladies. And she is a fighter thief. Okay. Here I go. Buy her some... Studded leather. Sounds pretty decent. Oops. Long sword by. Oh, is that one handed or two handed? It's probably one handed. Okay, so I could, she could wear a shield too then. Oh, that, I had, there was a medium shield, but I guess he didn't have any more than just the one that one of my other guys already bought. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip her now. Oops. There we go. This is cool. I like this. All right. Your desire. As you will it. So what is this chick again? She is a mage, so that's why she can't hardly wear anything here. Sure need to buy her something, a quarter staff. Well, she already has a quarter staff. That may be all she needs, but get her a scroll case maybe. And a potion bag, sure. Ooh, a dagger. Does that do more than a quarter staff damage? 1d6 crushing. Dagger does 1d4 piercing. Hmm. Yeah, there's no kind of robes or anything I can buy here, it doesn't look like. I'll go ahead and buy this too. And done. Do I need to equip this lady with this crap? Okay. Yes. 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 What are you anyway? Oops. Bard. I'm here. 
You have my undivided. Very well. Bard can't wear a lot of heavy armor either. Okay, let's get her a sling just so she can sling some crap out. Oh, I'm selecting the wrong person again. Damn it. Alright, she has a sling too now then. There we go. Alright. Bullets. Bye. Bullets. Bye. Bullets. Bye. Bullets. Bye. This stuff's cheap. Done. You want me? You want me? That's freaking classic. Huh. Okay. I await your instructions. Some more. Come here, you. Gladly. I am ready as always. Very well. So you, you need to buy some more bolts. All right, guys. Let's see what we can do now. Now that we got our whole party equipped, ready. Let's get him out of got here. <clears throat> you got it. That's where we sleep if we need to rest. It looks like. Now, where's that dude's house at? Monsters in town! They almost ate me. A whole bunch of them that came down the shore while I was fishing. I dropped everything and ran when I saw them, but they didn't chase me. I thought they were going to eat me. Where are these monsters now? Just over the bridge down by the lake. My dad told me not to fish so far out by myself, but I can't help it. That's where I catch the big ones. He's going to kill me when he finds out I lost today's catch. All because of those stupid monsters. All right, we'll go check it out, but if we find out you're lying to us, we'll send you to the bottom of the lake. Tough luck, kid. Maybe you'll listen to your... No, we'll go deal with it and get your fish back. Alright. Let's go see what we can do here. Might die, but you know what? You know what I should do, probably. Oh, crap. Very funny. Let me go here and save my game. You cannot save during combat. That sucks. Alright. How do you... What's this? Paused. Okay. So let's figure this out now. Can I? Can I change the? Okay, he is. Orders. Okay, so he's right up front now. He's already lost two health. This guy. Yes. Speak your mind. Is my cleric ranger, and he has a weapon, so he needs to be up here. He needs to get his butt up Very here and well. start fighting. And then this guy is my undead hunter. He should be up here. No, he should be back. So he is right there. Let's get him back. Now when I unpause this, I wonder if this will make a difference. Okay, she is right here and she's my maid. She needs to stay the hell back. So you can get back way over here. And then you... Ready and willing. <laughs> That's funny how she's all seductive and crap. My pleasure. 
Alright, let's unpause this to see if they move to their correct positions. There we go. Now let's go here. Oh! Wow, look at that. Six. He is taking... So... Where is my cleric at? There he is. Can he heal him? Um... Cleric, how can I help? You can heal the freaking dude up there, you dumbass. How do I do that? What's this? What the hell? Tracking. Charm animal. Uh... Turning undead. Stop turning undead. Uh, what's this? Cure light wounds. Casting a spell, laying this on a creature. Priest heals eight points to the body's creature and cures intoxication. So this is what I need here. Okay, where did I find that at? Here. And here. Now can I select who I want him to heal? I want him to heal him. Okay. Now everybody else is okay here? It looks like it. Let's go ahead and pause this, see if that makes a difference here. Heal him, heal him, heal him! What the hell is that? Tax Felicia, tax Felicia. I'm still good. There, he got healed. That's cool. Alright, my guys are dying. Oh, 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 pause, pause, pause. Alright, I need to have dude here heal again. Boom. Hopefully he has enough mana or whatever. Where the hell is his mana at? It doesn't show, does it? What the hell is this crap? Color choices? Okay. The, does he have a pool of mana? You would think he would have a pool of power or mana or something. I don't see that information anywhere. Maybe he could just keep casting it. There's just a time delay. I'm not sure. Yeah, you guys help me out because I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, guys. Bless. Uh, morale the creatures plus one. That would probably help. But I need to heal this guy first. So boom. Oh, I can't heal again. I can only use it once. That's effed up. That sucks. My guy might die. Okay. Why can't I? Maybe I have to wait longer before I can heal again. Well, you know, since I can't do that, let's go ahead and cast this crap. And cast it. So it's showing that he's going to cast a beneficial whatever it was bless or something all right let's just hope we hope for the best here strength she died she got waxed that's effed up probably not gonna survive this fight oh yep I'm getting getting waxed now too many um too many baddies, and I don't see a way that I can run. Maybe I can. I don't see anything lit up here to run or anything. Looks like I'm going to get completely whacked here. Look at this guy taking on all these. Zoom in here a little bit. Yeah, look at this poor guy surrounded here. That's funny. And he's got, yeah, two, two hit points left, and he's dead. So, party has been killed. You must restart the game. So if I had saved that before I went into battle, I could reload and reattempt that. And I equipped my guys what I thought was pretty good armor. You see all their armor and weapons laying out here on the ground. That's pretty cool. Um, what did I do wrong, guys? Leave me down in the comments. Let me know how I can whip this first little group of goblins or whatever. I wouldn't think they would be that tough. But again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um... It looks like I have the right idea with being able with pausing the game and setting up the spells and stuff, but again, I've never played a game like this, so please help me out. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, what I'm supposed to be doing here. It looks like an enjoyable game, and I'm sure if I mess around with it, I'll know what to do as well. But I want you guys to help me out, so please help me out with the comments below. Let me know what you think I should be doing, even if you've never played a game like this. What did I miss? I'm sure I missed something you know, obvious, and maybe I need to level up somewhere else. Uh, before I come here. I don't know. 
But this has been Zaxter99. I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this. Hopefully this has given you an idea of what Icewind Dell, uh, the enhanced version, looks like on Steam. Uh, it does have the multiplayer uh, option available as well, so that looks like that would be pretty fun. But I think for myself, I want to get the hang of how to play before I go into that. The cool thing when you go into multiplayer, I'm just guessing, is you probably only have one character that you're controlling, and you kind of group up with other people online against all the bad guys, so you're not having to worry about a whole party. But that's just a guess. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see another one of these videos like this, you know, if you want to see my second attempt at this, let me know. Whatever it is you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, let me know how you can help me. Be sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, be sure you subscribe to me up here in the upper right if you haven't already as well, so you get all my future videos or you're notified of all my future videos. This has been Zaxter99. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care.